वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन ट्रांसियंट रिस्पॉन्स एनालिसिस सो हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व वी हैव दिस सर्किट एंड इन दिस सर्किट दिस स्विच के दैट इज गेटिंग ऑन एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड वी आर डील विथ टू फाइंड करंट आई ऑफ टी विच इज पासिंग थ्रू दिस इंडक्टर सो whenever you have question based on transient response you should understand it with respect to time frame so you should bisect that with respect to time so before t is equals to 0 switch was off and if you observe if this switch is off then this loop is getting open circuited right and if this is open circuit then you don't have current which is passing through this loop so i will be 0 if this switch is off so let us consider first case in which switch is off before t is equals to 0 and current through loop will be 0 so you see i have considered that here current in this loop that is 0 because of switch is off right now after t is equals to 0 switch is getting on right so as if switch is getting on there will be flow of current in this loop so let us consider second case in which switch is on so here after t is equals to 0 this switch is on and as this switch is on this voltage source that will flow current in this loop right let us say loop current that is i so once switch is on there will be flow of current in the loop and we can apply kvl in the loop right so let us apply kvl in the loop so you see in this loop we have voltage source and that voltage source is t for t is greater than or equal to 0 so here that is happening from minus to plus i need to write plus t over here and that is equals to voltage across elements so voltage across resistance that is current i into resistance so i into 1 so that is i only and voltage across inductor that is l di by dt so l is 1 here so voltage across inductor that is l di by dt means di by dt only as l is equals to 1 here so we have this equation and to solve this differential equation we should know the basic standard form by using which we can easily identify the solution of differential equation so let me show you how that differential equation solution is there and then we will apply that over here with this case so if we have di by dt plus pi is equals to q then solution is i is equals to e to the power minus pt integration q e to the power pt dt plus constant k into e to the power minus pt and this is what you'll have to remember and by using this basic solution we can be able to solve solution of this differential equation so here you see if you compare this two equation then this p that is equals to 1 here and this q that is equals to t so here we have p is equals to 1 and q is equals to t and based on that we can have solution i that is e to the power minus pt so where p is 1 so minus t integration q is t e to the power plus pt where p is 1 so e to the power t dt plus constant k into e to the power minus pt where p is 1 right so this is how we have this solution now we need to identify integration of this now if you observe integration of t into e to the power t so we don't have direct formula for it so here we need to apply rule of multiplication of integration so that rule states if you have integration u v dt then that integration will be u integration v t minus integration of du by dt integration v d t dt let me write that and then i'll explain you how to apply over here so here if you observe for this particular integration 
I'll be considering u as t and v as e to the power t. So here we'll be having current i that is now you see in bracket I'm writing this integration. So u that is t integration e to the power t dt minus integration again u as t so dt by dt integration v dt so integration v dt that is e to the power dt and again that integration dt and plus constant k into e to the power minus t here it is minus t remember this here I need to apply minus over here right as minus p t is there now let us solve this so we'll be having e to the power minus t into this t into in integration of e to the power t that is e to the power t minus dt by dt that is 1 and e to the power t integration is e to the power t and again integration of that e to the power t that is e to the power t so I need to write e to the power t again and plus constant k into e to the power minus t now you see e to the power minus t that I need to multiply inside so e to the power minus t into e to the power t that will make it to 1 so this will be t minus 1 plus constant k into e to the power minus t now here we need to identify value of this constant k and value of constant k that we can have based on zero initial conditions so if you observe I have already explained for t less than 0 switch was off and current was 0 right so initial conditions that states that t is equals to 0 current i is equals to 0 and that will make it to i is equals to 0 that is equals to 0 minus 1 plus constant k into e to the power 0 so this will gives you k is equals to plus 1 right now we got the value of constant so I can say solution of this differential equation that will be t minus 1 plus constant k that is 1 into e to the power minus t for t greater than or equal to 0 so this is what a basic solution of given circuit I hope you have understood this I have made more than 10 examples based on transient response so you just go through it definitely that will help you to understand how exactly we can solve examples based on transient response and please solve at least 5-7 examples so that you will get confidence in calculation of transient response circuit I hope you have understood this video still if you have any further query just place that in comment box I will try to short out those queries as if it is possible from my side by writing answer in comments and if it is not possible by writing answers in comment I will make sure to make videos in future which will solve those queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.